The strain on the southwest border could be taking its toll on those responsible for protecting it. Yeah, U.S. Customs and Border Protection has reported an alarming number of suicides among the Border Patrol agents. The night team's Jesse de Goyado says two border congressmen have set aside $23 million in federal funding to try and prevent more deaths. Take a moment of silence for them. It began with a moment of silence in the rain. Members of Congress, Republicans and Democrats honored the latest three U.S. Border Patrol agents to commit suicide in less than a month. But unfortunately, this is not a new issue. Henry Cuello uh, says there have been 149 Customs and Border Protection officers since 2007, the highest being 14 so far this year and in 2009. Tony Gonzalez says what helped stop many suicides during the Afghanistan war. Congress actually came together and they passed some legislation that created a task force. So now Gonzalez and Cuellar are working on the TAPS Act, taking action to prevent suicides, including relying on local mental health professionals, creating a mental health curriculum for new CBP officers, periodic management training for crisis intervention, and improving peer support. Border Patrol Council President Brandon Judd says, as it is now. Until we take out the fear of law enforcement coming forward and talking about their mental health issues, they're never going to do it. Judd says not only would their law enforcement authority be revoked and they'd lose their pay. They're then in front of their peers in plain clothes and their peers now know that something is wrong. Cuellar says the legislation wants to ensure that they're not adversely affected. If so, Judd says some of what's being suggested would, as he put it, absolutely cut down on the number of suicides. Jesse Degollado, KSAT 12 News.